Hey guys, welcome back to another cosplay crafting video. Today we are making the Velociraptor Claw based off the one Alan Grant has in the first Jurassic Park movie. This is hopefully to be used for a Jurassic Park uh, Alan Grant gender bend cosplay for me down the road. And I'm going to show you how I made that out of EVA foam, so let's jump right on into it. <music> So this is another pattern I made myself. I had to scale it versus the Alan Grant Velociraptor Claw. I just kind of studied pictures of him when he was holding it from scenes in the movie to kind of scale it and make the pattern. Um, and I'm going to be tracing the template twice to get two pieces from the 8mm EVA foam. And then after I trace the, the shape, I'm also marking it with these lines so I can use it to line them up because when we glue them, they're going to be on top of each other, and I want to make sure everything lines up correctly. So we've traced the first piece with just a silver uh, paint marker um, from the template, and then we're going to trace another one, both on 8mm EVA foam. And then I'm marking lines in like the same places as on the first one so I can line them all up. So now I have moved on with my box cutter to cut them out. I am cutting mostly straight with them uh, because I'm going to do a lot of the shaping just with the Dremel in this one. So we're just cutting straight um, angled with my box cutter the two pieces out. So cutting the point of the, the claw was probably the biggest pain because it's a rounded tip, not like just a point. So it was kind of hard to maintain such a small curve in my cutting. So now I have the first piece cut out. I'm kind of just picking at some of the little scraps at the edges to make sure it's all cut out smoothly um, for the first piece. So we have the first piece cut out from the 8mm EVA foam. I'm going to move on to cutting out the second one as well. So now we have our two pieces. We're done cutting out the EVA foam. So now those lines I marked on top, I'm going to mark them on the side so I can line them up uh, correctly when we go to glue them is basically what I'm doing. I'm just drawing the lines on the side now too. Oh, I totally went to go get my contact cement open because I can't open it to save my life and Nan decided this was the time to get in my bed and be super cute and make the bed and I had no idea she did this until I watched back on the footage and there she is just being adorable and perfect and making my bed for me because she is such a good bunny. Just look when she bobs her little head, oh my gosh, baby! Okay, now I've gotten my contact cement open by anyone else because I'm terrible at opening things. I'm going to put a layer on each piece um, and let those dry and then hold them together until it adheres. And then the contact cement has a brush with it um, in the lid, so I'm just brushing it on with that brush. I am also wearing a face mask while I use this because uh, it smells terrible and it is toxic, so safety first. So now both sides have glue and the glue is, or the contact cement and the contact cement is dry, so I'm going to mush them together to get them to stick. I also made sure to line up all those lines so that way the whole thing is lined up perfectly when it sticks together. So now the Velociraptor Claw that Alan Grant has in the first Jurassic Park movie has kind of an indent in the center. So now I have to draw that out and I'm going to use just a small X-Acto blade to cut out um, the pieces from that indent. Not all the way through and I'm doing it on both sides of the claw and we'll smooth it out with the Dremel later on like when we go to rub it or smooth it out. And I'm drawing on it just like I did to trace the, the pattern. It's just a silver marker. 
So the first side is marked, then I gotta mark the other side because it's on both sides. Now I am freehanding this on both sides, I'm just using my reference image. Um, so it doesn't have to be perfect, it, it is a meant to be a claw of an animal kind of thing, so really stuff like that doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. Um, just it makes it look more realistic, honestly. Okay, so now that that's all marked, I'll be taking my X-Acto, just using one of the angled blades to go ahead and cut. And I am cutting at an angle since I want um, to take out the chunk without going all the way through, so we're not cutting straight with the blade, we are cutting angled um, inward. There you can see the exact uh, blade I've selected for if you need to pick one for yourself and want to know exactly what I'm using. So now I'm going to start cutting in, and I do have my blade angled um, inwards to the indent, um, so that way um, it's not just straight through, and it actually just makes the indent, because it's not going to go straight through the whole claw, it's just on either side there's an indent. As I'm doing this, I'm not worrying too much about how smooth or even the cuts are. I'm very focused on just getting the main bulk of it out because we're going to smooth it out and even it all out when I go back with the, uh, the Dremel to sand everything. So now, as you can see, I'm using the Dremel. Uh, it's a Dremel 3000 um, with a sanding bit to, uh, first of all, smooth out all the cuts and everything, also to round out um, all of the edges of the claw to make it more, um, well, better shaped to be a Velociraptor claw, and then smoothing out and evening out that inside indent that we cut out as well. Um, it's a little hard to see because I work in an acrylic glass space that I made for myself um, to keep all of the foam dust contained because uh, that's toxic. So I'm wearing safety goggles and a mask for this. After that, I uh, heat locked the claw with uh, my heat gun so that way it's not like fuzzy or jagged on the edges um, and helps with the shape and everything. It also helped clean up on the inside so I could better see how it looked from the sanding and I decided to touch it up with my X-Acto. Um, I don't go back and sand it, I just touch it up with the X-Acto and it works fine. Now I also noticed after the heat gun and sanding it that some of my seals from where we glued it together with the contact cement were coming up. To touch those up, I just go along the edges of where those seals are starting to split with some quick seal uh, adhesive caulk. Pretty simple to fix it, and then I, I wet my finger at, before I rub it on. After the quick seal dries and I found a day where I could go outside and it was like good weather and everything, I primed the claw with Plasti Dip outside of my acrylic workspace like I use for the Dremel. And then once it was primed and dry, I was ready to go with, um, well first I had to sand it because the primer was a little uneven, so I sanded where some of the primer had kind of well, uh, made like a, a bump. And then I was going to get moving on to painting, which you guys will actually get to see. So I'm just using black acrylic paint. It is black acrylic paint that I got at the dollar store. Um, when it comes to basic colors like that, it's really not a big deal. The dollar store's acrylic paint is perfectly fine. Um, so that's what I'm getting set up so I can go ahead and paint it.
And keep in mind, the whole thing is black, so I'm just using the one color for this. Um, I did, I was finally patient and waited for one side to dry because I played Skyrim in between coats, and then I, I flipped it over and painted the other side once that section was dry. I did have to go back and touch up in the crevice a little bit because there'd be some white spots that maybe I missed, but that was, that was a pretty easy paint job for sure. And then after the paint was dry on a good weather day, I went outside with the claw and sealed it with some paint seal. Um, yeah, and then it was basically done once that was all dry. Alright, well if you like seeing this cosplay craft that I worked on and you want to see it all set with the full cosplay or the finished look, uh, make sure you check out my fan house or my TikTok. The links for those are in the description below. And if you want to see uh, more of my crafting, hit the subscribe button and let me know down in the comments section what you want to see me make next. Okay, bye.